everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am Brent. And I'm Leah. In this episode, we are featuring the Bahrain National Museum. Enjoy, Enjoy watching! The Bahrain National Museum is the largest and oldest public museum in Bahrain. It is situated in Manama, adjacent to the National Theatre of Bahrain. Opened on 15 December 1988 by the Emir of Bahrain, Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the $30 million museum complex covers 27,800 square meters and is the country's most popular tourist attraction. It is believed to be the region's first modern museum. The museum possesses a collection of Bahrain's ancient archaeological artifacts acquired since 1988 and covering around 5,000 years of Bahrain's history. The complex includes three halls devoted to archaeology and the ancient civilization of the Dilmun, while two other halls depict the culture and lifestyle of Bahrain's recent pre-industrial past. In 1993, a further hall was opened, the Natural History Hall, focusing on the natural environment of Bahrain. This hall features specimens of Bahrain's flora and fauna. Hall of Dilmun The exhibit focuses on artifacts and the history of Dilmun civilization from 5000 BC to 400 BC, including its widespread trading network with Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley. On display are Dilmunite stamp seals, artifacts from Barbar Temple and Sar Temple, and Dilmunite pottery. A notable exhibit is the Durand Stone, a long black basalt sculpture dating back to the Babylonian era. Another feature is a tableau which depicts a scene from the Epic of Gilgamesh, in which reference to Bahrain is made as the paradise of Dilmun.
Hall of Doman Graves. The exhibition focuses on burial practices of the Doman civilization and features an actual burial mound which was transported from its site, Aali, and reassembled within the museum. The hall was closed for renovation in 2013 and reopened to the public on 26 June 2018. Redesigned by French architect Didier Blin, the revamped hall features newly installed multimedia as well as findings from the most recent archaeological excavations. In 2019, the Dilman Burial Mounds of Bahrain were recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Hall of Customs and Traditions. This exhibit focuses on the customs and traditions of Bahrain prior to the discovery of oil in 1932 and its subsequent modernization. Aspects of everyday life such as childhood, marriage, fashion, local religious and medical practices, and the structure of a traditional Bahraini house are exhibited.
Hall of Traditional Trades and Crafts. Featuring a recreation of a traditional Bahraini souk, this exhibit showcases traditional craftsmen and includes a section on pearl diving, a key component of the country's pre-oil economy. of Tylos and Islam. The hall covers the Hellenic-influenced history of Bahrain from the 2nd century BC onwards as well as interactions with the Seleucid Empire and Kerosene Kingdom. This exhibit hosts glazed pottery and glasses, 
alabaster containers and jewelry dating from that era. The Islamic portion of the exhibit follows Bahrain's adoption of Islam in the 7th century AD until the 18th century. It features artifacts from the Kamis Mosque, the oldest mosque in Bahrain, as well as Kufic inscriptions, timber beams, ceramic and glass. Hall of Documents and Manuscripts Rare copies of the Quran dating back from the 13th and 14th centuries Notes on astronomy and historical documents and letters from the ruling Al Khalifa family are exhibited in the hall
Dive into the Jurassic. Dive into the Jurassic brings together immersive CGI films with original fossils and replica casts from the Natural History Museum's unique marine fossil collections to bring the ancient seas to life. The exhibition takes visitors on a journey beneath the waves to meet the amazing creatures that inhabited the oceans 200 million years ago at the time when dinosaurs ruled the land. It's nice and great to explore Bahrain's history and culture. We hope you guys like this video. If you do so, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell for further updates. See you on our next vlog. Bye!